All right, guys, I've recorded this vlog three times, and all three times the audio is messed up. So I'm praying to God, somehow, to the COD gods, that the audio does not mess up in this video. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Orlando, and let you guys know what went down, my thoughts about it, and pretty much uh, a recap. So basically, shout out to MLG, shout out to Adam Apicella, all the guys at MLG, all the boys over there that made such a crazy event go on. Uh, the viewership was great. The atmosphere was amazing. Um, the Orlando Resort they had us staying at was amazing. You know, the main stage was incredible. I liked the little like LED specialists they had behind us, and they treated us very, very well. And you know, they did the best with the circumstances they were given. And I appreciate what they did. So shout out to MLG for throwing such an amazing event. Um, Moving on to, you know, the competitive aspect and how my team did and pretty much stuff like that. Uh, our pool was TK, Optic, and Kingsman. Um, we ended up getting second in our pool. Uh, we beat, you know, Kingsman and TK. We ended up losing to Optic 3-1. Um, I think we had a, uh, a pretty solid performance. You know, we got top six uh, for the amount of practice we put in. Um, we honestly only got to practice four days before this event, and partly is due to my fault. I went on a seven-day road trip with my friends that I planned six months in advance. Um, I didn't know Anaheim wasn't announced at the time, but or Orlando, excuse me, and you know it kind of you know screwed up our practice a little bit. We ended up getting top six, so I think it's a testament to our consistency as well as you know our tenacity under pressure. We ended up you know still getting top six despite what we had to do you know before the what we had to go through before the event. Um, I felt like this was our worst performance as a team. Uh, we I, it felt like this was my worst performance as a player, and all I can do is really learn from it and move on. Um, you know, I felt I didn't feel like myself in game. Uh, sometimes I just you know, I was getting angry a lot. I was you know not being the best teammate, and I wasn't performing as good as I should. So uh, going to the champs, obviously, it was a big wake up call for our team. You know, some a lot of you know our in game communication wasn't good, practice wasn't good. And we're just going to go home. We're going to, you know, grind and keep a positive attitude and do our best, you know, show up and hopefully win it. So, I mean, I think we definitely have the skill to do it. The top six teams have remained the top six over the last four tournaments or so. And uh, they've been beating each other, interchanging. So um, I think all the top six were coming from that number one spot. So we definitely want to be the team, you know, that comes out and wins the next event. Um, but yeah, shout out to Envy, you know, and Optic, Optic for winning. Shout out to them. Um, you know, I'm happy for those guys. Like, we're all friends and stuff at the end of the day. So I'm happy to see my friends succeed. And I'm happy to see Envy, uh, you know, consistently show that they can beat the best and perform with the best. So shout out to them. And, yeah, man, it's hopefully that's us at Champs and we're doing our thing. But, yeah, moving on um, to, you know, the controversy surrounding the uh, Cronus. A lot of people were complaining about it, saying that uh, it ruins integrity and stuff like that. And uh, while the Cronus does start lag that, you know, sucks for everybody to play with and stuff like that, um, there's nothing MLG can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, I guess just keeping the players better informed would have helped a little bit. Let us know what settings are on, what to do, what we should get, what we should practice with. That would have helped a little bit. But MLG deserves no hate, man. It's a Sony problem. And until Sony fixes, you know, the Bluetooth issue, there's nothing they can do. And it is the best solution that they have to work with right now. And until further notice, I believe it will be used as champs. So the first thing I'm going to do after this video is go buy a Cronus and play some public matches with it and get used to it. Because um, there's really nothing you could do, and it does affect some gameplay. But top six teams remain the top six teams. So like I said, uh, there's nothing you could do, but just get one and play with it and move on from there. No reason to, you know, complain and think about it every day up until the biggest tournament of the year. Yeah, other than that, it was amazing an event, an amazing event, and I'm very excited. You know, uh, that was all practice for the big one, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recap. Just want to catch the people at the speed who you know haven't following me too closely lately. And if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, love and appreciate it. Peace.